Honolulu's top cop, Joe Logan, has been officially on the job for only about two weeks, but he's already endured major public scrutiny. Today, Chief Logan joined Good Morning Hawaii and told KITV4's Leui Koholakula there's a lot of work to be done. Before Honolulu Police Chief Joe Logan took the helm at the department, it was an already rocky changeover. Logan's adult son making headlines in May connected to an Ala Moana assault. Then in June, a seemingly private swearing-in ceremony that raised public suspicions of secrecy. Not long after that, more shakeups. this time with Shopol, the union representing police officers. The union, by and large, is representing, you know, the police officers, not just on Oahu, but on the neighbor islands, too. And so they have a large uh, uh, and a very difficult job. And so they need the leadership and they need uh, the people to do what they need to do. And so uh, that's being handled and that's they're working that. Two of its top leaders, President Robert Cavaco and Vice President Stephen Keel, accused of extortion and placed on restrictive duty. Chief Logan on GMH saying he can't comment on the pending investigation, but he's confident the court will handle the case correctly. The chief's almost two weeks on the job hasn't been a walk in the park. It's a little bit harder than I jumped into, um, but it's a, it's a fascinating job. It's something that I look forward to doing. He says he sees promising opportunities for change working from the inside out. Like any organization, they'll have individuals that do things at a time that is not appropriate, and so we'll take the action. We're going to use discipline to re-educate or train, uh, and then we'll put you back on the street to save your job and, and to keep you as a, uh, you know, a valid employee. Another part of transforming the force, creating a bigger digital dependence. So, and I'm all about technology too, right? So how do we help our officers do their job the quickest and fastest, whether it's report writing, um, because that's the unglamorous part of being a police officer that you don't see on television, right? And that's inside the building, typing away, putting all your reports together. And then how do we modernize and, and use technology to make that quicker and faster? But above all, recruiting and retaining officers is Chief Logan's biggest barrier to overcome and highest priority, with hundreds of vacancies to be filled. Uh, they've tried with social media, and to an extent that's worked, um, but we want to broaden that. And so we're going to expand the recruiting team so that there's more officers recruiting. And if I can uh, get uh, reserve officers or retirees that want to come back and help us recruit, then that's another option we're looking at. On the day Logan was sworn in, 33 men and women in blue graduated into the Honolulu Police Department. Logan admits getting more officers into the force won't happen overnight, but he's determined to get the job done. Le'u'i Kaholokula, KITV4 Island News.